Hey guys, nice to see you and welcome at this smoking tutorial. Smoking. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this awesome smoke effect. It's really easy, no plugins required and it only takes a few minutes to set up. Are you ready? Let's get started. So the smoke effect, it comes from a larger animation I created. It's where this guy is running, uh, he falls down, uh, gets up and leaves on his motorcycle. And as you will see, from the moment he falls down, there's smoke coming out of his hands. When he gets up, he jumps on the motorcycle, he starts and from uh, the wheel, uh, smoke uh, comes again and it keeps on going. It looks quite nice and it's really not hard to create. I'll show you how I did it. Obviously, we start with creating a new composition. I call it Smoke Tutorial, call it whatever you like, uh, just name it correctly. It's gonna be 1920 on 1920 because that's the width of my final composition. And I will tell you later why it needs to be a square, but it's important, so make sure you make a square. Next, we'll create a solid, make sure it's also 1920 on 1920, and let's call it Smoke. Okay, that's it. Um, and in the effect and presets panel, look for particle system 2 and drag it on your solid. I know it will look strange in the beginning, but don't worry, we'll fix this. To see it more clearly, you can always turn the transparency of your composition off, and then you will have this black background, and it kind of gives you a better view of what we're doing right now. And this brings us to the cool stuff. Click on physics and uh, change explosive to fire. This will create this strangely looking fireball Drag it all the way down. Oh, uh, just in case you're quite new to After Effects, you can find all this in the Effects Control panel. Next, click on Particle and change Line into Lens Convex. Don't worry uh, that it's gone, uh, just to turn the opacity back off. Lens Convex makes everything black uh, and takes away the colors, so that's why you didn't see it. Uh, fade Out needs to be constant in the Opacity map. Uh, we change the bird size to zero and the dead size to uh, five. The bird rate, we're gonna change it to um, 0 0.3. And let's play that. Yeah, it's already kind of looking quite nice, but we're not there yet. The longevity, it can be 3.6. When you drop down the producer part, um, you see the radius of the X and the Y. If you change the X, uh, it will become wider on the X axis, so all the bubbles will spread out more. But this is not what we want, we want it close, so we uh, keep this on zero. And it's the same for the Y radius. The larger the number, the more it spreads out, but we don't want this, uh, just keep it on three. The velocity is kind of um, how close the bubbles are to our line in the middle. So if we put it on 0 0.5, it's pretty close. But when we turn the number up, it goes like everywhere. Kind of this sci-fi star effect you can create with it. But um, we keep this on 0 0.5. And the inherent velocity doesn't really do something with the lens convex, so you can turn it up to 100 or whatever. Um, it will have no effects. The gravity, uh, it can be pretty small, um, let's say seven or something. Um, and the resistance, we will turn it up to 100, 160. Um, maybe that's too much. Let's turn this number down, 80, 90, something like that. Yeah, better. But I think I just wanted a bit wider on top. So let's change the dead size to 7, 8-ish. By the way, um, if you change the longevity, um, the width on top will also change. Um, last thing is uh, changing the extra to 0 0.1 instead of 1. And yeah, that's about it for the smoke. Maybe uh, just at that size to 8. I, I like to have a clear number. And if you want, you can always play around with random seed or different numbers, so you really have the smoke you like. Uh, but for me, this is fine. Uh, the only thing we need to do now is turn the smoke around so it comes from the sides. This is why you needed to make a square in the beginning, by the way. 
And of course, we also need to have a ground floor and it's pretty easy to do. We just need to mask um, the half of it away. Et voila, that's it. Now you've created smoke. The only thing um, you might not like is the black color. As I stated previously, you can change the color settings here as much as you like, but they will remain black. So what I do is um, in layer style, I will put a color overlay. It's just right click um, and change the color to something grayish. Yeah, okay, something like that. And this way you can really um, make the smoke fit in your entire setting. Um, to have the two layers, um, I just make a copy, paste it, then I change the color a little bit, of course, make it a bit brighter so you can see a clear difference between the two and then change the settings. Just make it a bit smaller or higher, whatever. Um, for me, this something like this is fine. And if you look at it now, you have this two streams of smoke uh, really working nice together. However, what if you want the smoke to disappear again? Um, like you have here uh, with the hands. Let's watch it again. You see how it blows away? It's pretty easy, I just keyframed the dead size. So I start with a larger number and change it to zero. Let's try that in our own composition. So go to the dead size and click on the stopwatch icon. A keyframe will appear on your layer. Just go further in time and change the dead size to zero. After Effects will automatically create a new keyframe. And actually, that's it. You can change the timing a little bit, uh, but um, that's all you need to do. To have the same animation on the uh, second smoke layer, just copy paste the keyframes and the smoke will blow away together in harmony. Ah. <laughs> all right, guys, that's it. I hope you liked it. If you learned something, hit that subscribe button. Please share your work and let me know what you created. I'm really interested. See you guys. Bye.